But so I, I also think that although the test net is working at a rate for the public to say that it's 100 percent, we really don't know what they're what they're working on at the back end and what they found. You, you do. You do not know. I mean, nobody knows what what they found or if it's true or if it's not true. But I do want to add the main lead developer for Pulse Chain just came back from vacation. He was on vacation for a month to do an audit and to check the bugs and to check this and that. And then he found some new bugs. So why was the main lead developer on vacation all these all this time in the month of May when he should have been working? He should have actually he came back two weeks ago. Yeah, he yeah, two but... weeks back from vacation. So, but he was on vacation. The main lead developer. So in this case, why? Yeah. Why, why, here's why here's the thing, though, guys. Now? Here's the why thing, though, guys. Like at the end of the day, Pulse Chain is going to launch when Richard wants it to launch, whether he's timing the market or not timing the market. He's not going to launch it a day sooner than it's ready to go 100% like Crypto Goose wants. And once it is ready to go, he may look at the market and say, hey, I'm going to wait a couple of weeks to see if Bitcoin capitulates down, or he may not. At the end of the day, it does not matter from our vantage point, from our end, because there's nothing we can do, <laughs> right? So we I can sit here and bullshit with each other all day long, but there's it doesn't matter. It's not a contentious right. point uh, as well. I, 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 will, I will also agree that if Richard Hart does do that, like he times the market, he may not even come out and admit it, which is fine with me. What what I will what I will agree with you is that I have a hundred percent faith and he'll do the best thing for the community, the best thing for Pulse Chain in his mind, and I trust that judgment. I will say Correct. he times the market perfectly with the sacrifice, uh in terms of um, swapping that stuff into USDC and to die because now he is up massively on that stuff and he is very good at calling tops isn't he so it's very interesting that we do have a founder that is kind of like the oracle of of calling the market so in that sense it would be odd that we have like the oracle of the calling the market guy not use that to his advantage um j just to throw out a little nuance in there but kind of when i'm when i'm thinking about stuff just for and giggles but that's where i'm at this is why he's always talking about price the number one thing he says in all of his live streams is price price matters price is the only thing that matters that's why he emphasizes price he he knows how to time the market he is the oracle he knows the tops he knows the bottoms he knows exactly when to launch you just have to have faith in him i have faith in him he knows exactly the right time when to launch he can tell you as devs he can tell you he could blame it on the devs he could blame it on bitcoin not capitulating in the month of may when he thought it was going to capitulate in the month of may he you can you can blame it on a lot of things but he knows exactly the right time when to launch i agree with this i just want to add a quick note that richard hart is a libra and the only thing he cares about is his reputation so he will not rug pull hex nobody's gonna get rug pulled you're gonna have to suffer you're gonna have to live through the pain people are gonna get shaked out if you want to survive the next 512 x that's gonna happen this is the name of the game but in astrology, this guy's a Libra. He cares. The only thing he cares about is his reputation. He's not gonna exit scam. He's not gonna do none of that. Shit. If anybody's worried about that, anybody's listening to this, who's worried about that? He's not gonna do that. He he's not gonna dox himself, putting himself out there, his face and all this crap, and his location and all that. So basically, Pulse Chain is gonna launch when Pulse Chain launches. Everybody's gonna be happy when it does. And at the end of the day, he cares about his reputation and he is a nice guy. He does wanna see people healthy, happy, and rich. But he does like games. He does like to play games. He knows how to play the game. He's been playing the game longer than any of us here. He knows how to play the game. And he's gonna make sure he plays the game right and we're in it for the right, is all I gotta say. So you're thinking 10,000x? That's a low ball figure, bro. Every blockchain, every every new blockchain did way more than that. That's for a token, for a token, yeah, 10,000x is enormous. But for a blockchain, that's, that's pennies. Yeah, Richard's been much more vocal lately where he uses the term he's in it for the glory and that always reassures me when i hear that from him nobody wants pulse chain to launch more than richard hart guys don't get it twisted no absolutely and and because he's so smart about thinking about 
the actual future. He wants to make his own damn country. Don't forget that. He wants to make his own laws. He, I know the law and I can see that he knows the law and he knows exactly the future of the world. And he knows the only place you're going to survive is in his country that he's going to build. And his wallet that he's going to build. And his blockchain that he's going to build. Gonna... His country's going to have a no-fly zone, no chemtrails. It's going to be a good place to live. Those chain launches, wait about five years or three or two or whatever expectation you have. This is going to take the world by storm. Like he says before, this is going to take the world by storm. This is the storm that's going to happen. This is something. You know, that's it's in interesting. It's interesting because I didn't mean to cut you off there, but it's interesting because in the world, if you go back in history and you do kind of like a history lesson on people that changed the world or changed um, changed the, the 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 category that they were in um, in that world, um, many of them were very eclectic. Um, very different, um, very smart, genius even, and absolutely hated. You know, um, <laughs> Jesus Christ was hung on a cross, right? Like, Da Vinci was absolutely hated. I mean, there's so many examples of people that came in and just kind of exploded the, the temple, if you will, of that whatever was was the 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 topic um or that category of whatever and people just don't like the apple cart rocked you know they don't like their cabal being fucked with pardon my french but that's just the reality of it richard is that apple cart rocker i'm screwing with your temple and i'm gonna rock your cabal to the core because i'm exposing all of your total fugazi lies to the world and you don't like it right so he knew that he was going to get attacked that's why he got on every live stream and he took the hits from every freaking corner with with attorneys and with with, with the influencers and and with his peers and <laughs> you know and he's just destroyed everybody and that's why every time he talks they hate him more because th there's nothing that they can do to hurt the guy he just keeps winning and ev and everything he says or has been speaking about over the last two years two and a half years since he launched hex in terms of what he sees going on in the world and the the stuff going on in crypto and all the pitfalls and the security issues and all the lies and the scams and the cheating and and from freedom of speech and freedom of assembly and you know guns and it, it seems like everything that comes out of his mouth has literally in and not too far after that been proven true you know it's, it's actually amazing i think that's why eric wall in the live stream both I, I think that's why eric at the end said that this is just amazing as long as you're continuing to do what you're doing it's basically awesome is what he said right yeah because it doesn't make sense in a lot to a lot of people they, they think like you like oh this guy has to have some kind of a connection or something to be able to do what he's doing and not have a problem but i i think we're so early that he can still walk down the street and go shopping and nobody knows who the hell he is even that guy exactly that guy who tried to oh i'm taking lessons from you i'm gonna talk over you and try to win the debate he even said it in the debate that I'm learning from you on how to win a debate, Eric Wall. And he, in the end, he admitted that he has bags and poles. He's already sacrificed and he loves Richard Hart. Like, it was all for a show. It's all a movie. No, he actually, he actually was asking if he could get bags of pulse. <laughs> yes. I, 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 yes. He was, he, he was asking the community to sell pulse to them. And then he asked Richard at the end, he said, can I, can I like enter into pulse sacrifice or can I, can I get pulse Richard? And he's like, nope, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> you're going to have to wait till we launch. Pulse for sure is going to overtake Bitcoin and Ethereum for the retail not for institutions institutions are always going to stick to bitcoin because bitcoin has to be regulated it has to be outlawed or whatever or in law i don't know how you want to call it but it has to be regulated bitcoin post chain is for us it's for the regular humans for us retail people and i don't know bro i think a lot of institutions are going to be coming in as well they did not want to sacrifice they wanted to make sure that it was it is what richard hart says it's going to be 
and I think they're going to come in. As a matter of fact, that's what we've been hearing on here for a long time. Correct. That's why he's very careful with his language. He knows to play the law. He knows how to play the law. He, that's that's exactly. He's setting up people for for the biggest thing this decade. The biggest thing this decade is a new blockchain that's called Pulse Chain. That's, that's, this is the biggest thing in history that's going to happen right now. And we're in it. We're, we don't even know... We don't even know the potential. We think it's going to, you guys think 10,000 X, 1 million X, 10 million X. That's pennies. These are pennies. Imagine, imagine you own a damn Bitcoin before Satoshi even owns a Bitcoin. This is, this is amazing what's happening right now. Amen, brother. Don't get me wrong. The markets are going to collapse because of Pulse Chain. Don't get me wrong. The markets are going to collapse because of Pulse Chain and because of what Pulse Chain is doing. Free airdrops, free money, free liquidity from sacrifice in a, in a legal way. You're legally sacrificing for no expectation from the work of others. This is legalese language. We're in the term. He knows the law. Like, this is the perfect setup to crash stable coins because they're not going to accept the PRC20 version of their stable coins. The PRC20 stable coins are not going to be allowed. He knows the language. Like, he knows exactly how to launch perfectly, legally and ethically and morally and everything. Like, But I think Pulse is going to become a, a major, major player in the space. Absolutely.